Seven years ago, the spacecraft Stardust set off for a rendezvous with a visitor from deep space. After a journey of two billion miles, it pulls up to its target, Vild 2, a comet making its first visit from the distant fringes of the solar system. Stardust's mission? To collect a sprinkling of the pristine particles thrown off in the comet's wake. The spacecraft caught up with the comet and uh, deployed the collector and flew through the tail of the comet within about 150 miles of the nucleus. That was only the first um, risky part of the mission. They had to get that material back to Earth and deliver it through the atmosphere of our planet at incredibly high velocity. One year later, the capsule plummeted to a Utah desert. Well, it's really exciting because we've been waiting for years for this sample. And we really had no idea what would be there when we opened up the canister. We knew we had the good stuff, you know. What they had, scattershot across the capsule's foam panel, was a milligram of dust, barely enough to cover the head of a nail, but each grain a messenger from the distant past. This represents material from the outermost coldest, most ancient regions of the solar system. And that gets us that much closer to the origin point, what went into forming the planets. At NASA's Johnson Space Center, each grain is submitted to a battery of high-tech tests. So we're going to go take a look at this particular thin section. A particle may be a hundred times smaller than a human hair. Okay. Inside those are another order of magnitude smaller than that. So there's a hundred angstroms, so we're doing a couple thousand angstroms. Really Each grain, uh, its structure, its chemistry, its surroundings, is a record of its history. We're looking at diopside here? Absolutely. Yeah. Where it formed, what, what the temperature, the conditions, the pressure, uh, the environment that it formed in. That has some, some really important implications for the incorporation of nitrogen into comets if you're actually oh, bringing it's in. Glow. Yeah. Uh, this is more of the dioxide. More what they find from stardust will build on what the team has learned from other particles retrieved from space, like this speck of dust. And the history of that grain is the history of our solar system. We're just look at those two. I